Hello, everyone, and thank you for staying here at my talk today. For me, it's a pleasure to share with you some knowledge that I have acquired. Here, some of my experience, I have more than six years in the online marketing channel. <clears throat> uh, in my four last years, I work in Austria, Chile and Sony Chile developing the online marketing strategy. And now in my, is my main topic, the customer satisfaction in a digital marketplace. Um, to understand the, the customer satisfaction, we need to put the customer in the center. Um, service, marketing, sales, all of these things are the complement because the customer is the most important. Uh, what can we do to work in that way with Omnichannel? Omnichannel is a cross-channel content strategy used to improve the customer experience and drive better relationships across all possible channels and touch points. This includes traditional and digital channels, point of sales, and physical and online experience. Here, I have a, a video talking about this. Meet Anna. Anna loves perfumes and is always looking to buy more for her collection. One day, she sees an Instagram post from Lena for a new perfume. Anna falls in love with the perfume's description and wants to find out more about it. Anna starts searching online for everything about the perfume. She checks to see if it is cheaper abroad, but quickly realizes that it will cost the same to buy it at a store here in Denmark because of the shipping costs. Luckily for Anna, she finds a perfume store close to her office. She also finds a click and collect option online to pick up the perfume from the store nearby. This way, she saves on shipping costs. Anna excitedly signs up as a new customer on the website and adds the perfume to her shopping cart. Before she buys the perfume, Anna decides to try it first. The next day, Anna is on her way to work when she receives an email from the perfume store. The email has a link to a voucher and an invitation to download their loyalty app, which she does. When Anna goes out for lunch that day, she happens to pass the perfume store. At the same moment, Anna receives a reminder from the loyalty app that she has a voucher waiting to be used. Anna decides to check out the perfume and walks into the store. Anna heads straight to the counter displaying the perfume and is excited to try it. Anna loves the fragrance. The clerk's mobile POS recognizes Anna by iBeacon. The clerk asks if her name is Anna and if she needs help to redeem her voucher and complete the perfume purchase now. Anna is amazed and impressed with the personalized service, but the perfume is an expensive one, so Anna decides to think about it a little more. While Anna is deciding what to wear for tonight's party, she receives a push notification from the loyalty app. It is a reminder that her voucher is about to expire. Anna immediately decides to use the voucher and buy the perfume through the app. She chooses the click and collect option so that she can pick up the perfume before tonight's party and save on the shipping costs too. Anna wears the perfume to the party and is thrilled about her shopping experience, from the service and the intuitive technology to being able to pick up the perfume on the same day. She tells all her friends about her experience, and best of all, the perfume is divine and exactly as she expected it to be from the Instagram post. Um, that's the example about the Omni channel. Right now, I have my agenda. First of all, I'm going to talk about digital ecosystem. In the second topic is market segmentation. And the final is the importance of metrics, digital ecosystem. I have a lot of things to say about, about it, but my focus today is about in, three, in these three points, product information, reviews, and keywords just talking about our website, keywords. Uh, the keywords is a phrase or word that you put into the, the box in a website and you can find some products or information that you're looking for. For example, if you put smart TV, 
you have a lot of ideas or suggestion of the web page about smart TV. And here I have an example to find some really good keywords for your website in Google Ads. Here is the rub. If you want to try with it, you have to put keywords, Google Ads, tools, keyword planner, discover new keywords. And after that, you have three options or three points to complete. In the first point, you have to complete the keyword. For example, I put smart TV again. Um, I have to decide my uh, the language. In that case, is Spanish and, and the country is Chile. And after that, if you want, you can put um, another domain or, or other web page or site, website. After that, you have three points again. Uh, the first one is the option that suggests you Google, for example, TV, Smart, TV, The Plasma, Mini TV, Roku, etc. cetera. Um, the second one is the importance for the keywords uh, in the month, for example, here. This is a good keyword because here say that it's have a good competition and has a average monthly search uh, biggest or big than another's. And here is another example, but right now this is really important to use in our area, Latin America, in that case, Chile. You can find some trends in Mercado Libre, for example, the same thing that we saw before. TV 32 inches, and for example, smart TV offered or off. Right now, I'm going to talk about the product information. Here, you can see a, a structure that I use always in my in page. Uh, have, have five points, for example. Always try to have a good title with a lot of information that you need to put or that you need the customer find in here. Uh, images, try to put a lot of images. Since five images is really good. Videos are really good if you are send, selling something like my product here. Uh, a description here, always try to put information. The most information is more important for our customers. Uh, and the final thing is the specification. Always put that kind of things. For example, put how how many watts have your your product. This is a good example to to put an specification. Uh, finally, I have the reviews. Uh, Amazon is a good example about reviews because they put that kind of things in all their products. Uh, in that example, for example, if you see five star are the 80% of star five or five star are the 80%, you can understand that this is a good product to buy. And if your, your product information is good, you have more probabilities to have five stars. Um, and here I have the market segmentation. I, I decide to put four different situations to, to segment our, our market. First of all is categories. Always try to put the correct product in the correct category. Can sound some obvious, but it's very important to have or to keep in mind that information. Uh, the shopping behavior is really important because um, depending on the, the activities that our customer do in our website, for example, some customers are looking for products or are looking for offers or they're, they're buying products regularly. There is the information about the behavior. Special dates is an example, uh, um, Black Friday or Cyber Day, Cyber Monday. Our customer in, in that case are looking for offers like Cyber or Black Friday. And in lifestyle, you can have 
customers like gamers. Um, and in that case, I have an example. Here, for example, in, in Sony, we segmented uh, the buyers of PS5. Why? Because Sony coordinated a global launch for all people, say, I, we are going to have the, the new PlayStation 5 in that day. After that, we create a site to register. And we started to create a market segment to people that want to have PlayStation 5. We create, after that, we create the database. And after that, we started to sell, after two months, our product sending emails about PlayStation, accessories, uh, TV plasmas, or something like that. Uh, that's it. Following with the example, the same thing we do with the email marketing. We have a segment of clients that wants to have information about PlayStation. And after that, we send information of accessories, TVs, etc. cetera. Uh, finally, I have the importance of metrics. I want to start with or saying that one metric is not enough. And why? Because for example, here, if you see that example, you can maybe you can understand that you are improving versus your previous year. But what happened if you see this graphic? You have more visit, but you have less orders. That's why uh, one metric is not enough. Always try to use a lot of metrics, visit, conversion, orders, uh, bounce rate. Every one of them are important to understand how is, how is your, your business or your, your website in, in the moment that you are reviewing. And here we have an image about Google Analytics. Google, you can use Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics. Um, here you can find, for example, all the information about the top channels, the sessions, the conversions, the sources, all of the information that you need to, to take decisions and to have uh, bet options to do in your website. And after that, <clears throat> you have a similar web that is an extension of Chrome. You can add this extension and you can find information about uh, visits, bounce rate, page per visit, monthly visit, traffic sources, uh, in which country you receive more visits. It's really important if you want to know your information and the information about your competition or competitors. Uh, that's in my presentation. If you have some question, please let me uh, let me know. I, there is my email. Uh, you can add me to LinkedIn too. Um, that's it. Thank you for staying here. Uh, I hope to see you again soon.